the Hubble is the first optical telescope to be placed in space. Over the years, scientists have used Hubble to observe the universe and distant planets. This telescope has sent us back some incredible images over the years. The Hubble explores the universe 24 hours a day, 365 days a year and is operated by a team of specialists on the ground. On the 3rd of September, the Hubble telescope would discover something that would change the way we view our universe. The Hubble pointed its camera at a small region of space, and it managed to capture many images. All these images were combined from the collected data, and it ended up showing scientists this. It's estimated in this one section alone is over 10,000 galaxies, and inside each of these galaxies could be millions or billions of planets. It's really tough to get your head around these kinds of numbers, but it just goes to show how vast the universe really is. Scientists have said that although this find is incredible, this was found in only a tiny region of space, and it suggests that hundreds of millions of galaxies are still out there waiting to be discovered. The image has become known as the Hubble Ultra Deep Field, and researchers have said that some of the galaxies you see in this image could have been formed shortly after the Big Bang. What's interesting is that on the 23rd of January 2019, scientists managed to create a deeper version of the image, which has allowed them to view the galaxies in more detail. This told them the largest galaxies were in fact two times larger than previously thought. Cutting across billions of light years, scientists have said the photograph represents a deep core sample of the universe. Another interesting fact to come from this research is the fact that some of these galaxies cannot be seen in visible light. This comes down to the light being given out from certain galaxies not being able to reach certain areas of space, and that some light has also been absorbed by intergalactic hydrogen. As mentioned, astronomers have suggested that some of the galaxies could have formed only a couple of hundred million years after the formation of the universe. This could mean that these planets could host very complex life. A planet that's had billions of years to form and mature could hold things we couldn't comprehend. On the other hand, they could be like most planets and too hostile for life. With that being said though, complex organisms have shown researchers they can survive in harsh conditions. Recently, NASA scientists announced that a mysterious sound in space is baffling them. They said the strange whistling sounds were detected in the Van Allen probe's mission. For those unaware, the Van Allen probes are a pair of donut-shaped robotic spacecrafts which can be found currently orbiting the Earth. NASA uploaded the sounds to their website, but it's their description of the sounds that puzzled many people. They say the sounds can be attributed to different electromagnetic waves, which penetrate almost every single known area of space. A spokesperson for NASA said the following, Although space is technically a vacuum, it's still full of electrically charged particles, which come into constant interaction with the magnetic and electric fields of the various objects throughout space. What the researchers have now found out is certain particles behave differently depending on what kind of magnetic and electric fields they're interacting with. This is why different planets give off their own noises. Going back a few years, NASA released the sounds of Saturn, and many people said these noises were eerie. These intense radio emissions were picked up by the Cassini spacecraft. The scientists are studying these recordings, and they hope it will give them a better understanding of plasma waves in space.
this isn't the only space news. Recently, researchers told us that two large space objects have been picked up by NASA heading towards Earth. However, NASA currently doesn't know what one of them is. The American Space Agency has identified one of the objects as a comet, but is yet to identify the other. Comet C 2016 was discovered by NASA in October 2016, and shortly after its discovery it was seen flying past Earth. The object named 2016 WF9 was detected by NASA's Asteroid and Comet Hunting Project on the 27th of November 2016. It's roughly 0.3 to 0.6 miles across or 0.5 to 1 kilometers, and is on an orbit that takes it on a scenic tour of our solar system. However, engineers at NASA have said they can't identify what it is, with one NASA engineer saying the following. As of right now, we do not know what this object is. It could have comet origins. The object illustrates the boundaries between asteroids and comets as a blurry one. Perhaps over time it's lost certain features that would allow us to identify it. This object is classified as a near-Earth object, and a potentially hazardous asteroid of the Apollo group. Our Sun lies at the heart of the solar system, and it's no secret that it's massive. Scientists have figured out the Sun is around 110 times the diameter of the Earth. This means that over 1 million Earths could fit inside the Sun. The outside of the Sun is over 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. However, that's nothing compared to the core which can reach more than 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. NASA have said that to match the energy the Sun produces, you'd have to set off 100 billion tons of dynamite every second. Researchers have come forward and said that when our sun was born 4.5 billion years ago, it had a twin. However, this twin sun was not identical. The Harvard scientists have said this was the same with every other star in our universe. It has in fact been proved that many stars do have companions. Astronomers are now focused on trying to understand whether binary and triplet star systems are born that way. Astronomers have been searching for the sun's twin. This star goes by the name Nemesis. It's been suggested that Nemesis is the reason behind the KT extinction. This has become known as one of the largest mass extinction events to happen on our planet. It's also become known as the Dive of the Dinosaurs. It's been theorized that Nemesis pushed an asteroid into the orbit of Earth. An astronomer from UC Berkeley said the following. There probably was a Nemesis a long time ago. We have searched and tried to find out where this star resides. The system where this star would be is either broke apart or shrank. This other sun, however, would not have been near the current one. It's thought that at one point in time it would have been 800 million miles away from Earth. An idea is that this sun most likely escaped and then mixed with other stars in the Milky Way's region. As mentioned, this isn't science fiction either. Other researchers have come forward and said this is not the first time that the idea that stars form a companion has been suggested. A research paper is going to be featured in the Royal Astronomical Society. This will look at the origins of binary and multiple star systems. However, although this theory does have its supporters, there are those that don't believe in the Nemesis theory. Some researchers have come forward and said that after studying craters, it doesn't back up the Nemesis claim. Regardless, studies are still happening to try and prove the existence of this hypothetical star. The Milky Way galaxy is only one of billions of galaxies out there. Although we have made some incredible discoveries, we have only scratched the surface of what's out there. Several years ago, NASA released this incredible image. It was captured using the Wide Field Planetary Camera and the Hubble Space Telescope. The Hubble is perhaps best known for being the first major optical telescope to be placed in space. One of the reasons for placing it here is that it's less obstructed. It doesn't have clouds and debris in the way. Instead, it can look directly out into the vastness of space. Regarding the photo, we can see what looks like a giant X shape. This can be found in the galaxy known as M51A. It's also known as the Whirlpool Galaxy, and it was the first galaxy to be classified as a spiral galaxy. NASA have come forward and said the X structure was created by the mass absorption of dust, and marks the exact position of an enormous black hole which is believed to have a mass equivalent to 1 million stars of similar weight to our sun. 
Incredibly, scientists have said the darkest part of the X structure is a massive dust ring, which is thought to be over 100 light years in diameter. This structure is massive, bearing in mind that one light year is around 5.8 trillion miles, or 9.5 trillion kilometers. The Whirlpool Galaxy is located 30 million light years from the planet Earth. As mentioned, there are many mysteries out there in the vastness of the universe. One of these is dark matter. Although there are theories we don't really know what it is. Not a single research scientist has a single idea what it could be. But according to studies and calculations made by the world's best physicists, dark matter makes up over 80% of the mass of the Milky Way galaxy, and can't for some reason be directly observed by any means available. Though this strange form of matter of energy can't be observed, by understanding the movement of stars it was made obvious to researchers that there was a large amount of mass not accounted for within our galactic supercluster. This hidden mass would ultimately need to make up roughly 80% if it was to be able to hold the elements of our Milky Way galaxy together, which is how scientists became aware of dark matter, and its implications relative to the very nature of our universe. Understanding what it is, why it can't be detected and all of the strange properties could be the key to understanding big questions about the nature of our universe and existence in general. Anyone is able to observe the entire library of images from the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory. This has meant that over the years some interesting discoveries have been made. This photograph has recently been making the rounds and people don't know what to make of it. We can see what appears to be a large object emitting what looks like a wave of energy. As you can imagine many theories have been put forward for what this could be. Some have suggested it's an anomaly on the sun. Some have suggested it's some kind of sunspot while others believe it could be alien in nature. There are some that believe these crafts use the sun's energy as fuel to power their crafts, and this is why so many objects are seen near the sun. Scientists have even come forward and said that space is so vast the human mind will never be able to understand it. Another theory is that an intelligent race is using our sun as some sort of portal. Some people have even seen these objects flying into the sun and then back out again. Non-believers however think this is some kind of sunspot. When a team of Japanese astronomers were combing through four-year-old solar data, they never expected to discover a giant sunspot with strong magnetic iron atoms on it, nor did they expect this sunspot to be the strongest magnetic field on the surface of the sun. Researchers at the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan concluded after five days of analysis, it was caused by gas outflow from one sunspot in the complex pushing against another sunspot, so this could be the same thing. Some have also pointed out these objects couldn't go near the sun due to how hot it is. The temperature at the core of the sun can reach more than 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. Hydrogen atoms get compressed and fused together creating helium. This process is called nuclear fusion. The temperature in the photosphere is around 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It's here that the sun's radiation is detected as visible light. Due to this heat and radiation, it's believed that nothing can come close to the sun without burning up. Other theories that have been put forward is that what people are seeing could be debris. Objects in space can act strange and when seen on these cameras they can give off illusions. For example, we can think we're seeing things that aren't actually there. NASA explained this as pareidolia. So what do you guys make of this? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.